How does music affect the brain? That was actually the question that started our friendship so many years ago. And it's, it's very appropriate that I can demonstrate, or you'll get a chance, to actually witness the importance of music, especially um, how music affects the brain, as I welcome and you hear and listen to Eric Jordan, Metropolitan Opera singer, who's also a stroke survivor, who regained his speech and ability to talk to, through the extraordinary power of music. Thank you, Connie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody. Yes, I'm a stroke survivor. And um, a friend of mine lent me the book called The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. And I thought to myself, well, myself, uh, should be an opera. As, <laughs> and it is. Uh, it's a chamber opera. And uh, my character, Dr. P, suffers from visual agnosia. He has hallucinations without any drugs. And uh, I've had a quick story to share before I sing. Um, in a deli somewhere, and didn't buy the, net, the, the Met, I couldn't speak my order, so I sang it. I said, I like a whole wheat foot long with roast beef, with mustard sauce, with lettuce and tomatoes, please. And the dude uh, across the counter is like, who's wackadoo one? Singing his, singing, singing his order? Okay, well, give this guy some horseradish and horse phrase, please. So before I um, keep on jibber jabbering, uh, let's make some music. Mistake that fool you all. 